Here's another 25 tips for new players. Number one is use opulent tools instead of flint tools whenever it's possible. Opulent tools last longer, and gold is more available than flint due to the pig king. Number two is click to walk instead of using WASD whenever possible. The automatic pathing requires less inputs, meaning lag will affect you less so that you move faster by clicking. Number three, enemies aggression timer towards you resets whenever they try to attack you. This can be used to lure mobs or make sure to avoid mobs. Number four, to take out a level three spider nest, lure out three spiders during the day, run away with them, aggroed on you until they're off the web, kill them and repeat until no more come out. Then place a trap next to the nest and attack it. This will cause the spider warriors to come out and get caught by the trap, allowing you to take it out easily. Number five is eat food in the order of whatever is closest to rotting or going stale. Number six, in early game, track down koala fans. Even if you can't kill them at that point, they don't despawn and they're a lot of meat. Number seven, during the full moon, grab Glamour from his statue nearby the pig king. His goop is very useful for healing and will help you stay insane. Number eight, the best way to gather grass slash twigs is tumbleweeds. Number nine, the best revive is the life-giving amulet. They require at least a Presti Hattitator to craft, but can be found by digging graves, and it won't hurt permanent health, unlike the Telltale Heart. Number 10, new players will tell you to only eat cooked green caps, but the opposite is true. They're free hunger and insanity if you eat them raw, and a waste of time to eat cooked. Number 11, the Oasis Desert is a bad biome to base in, and only noobs base there, generally because they are scared of the caves. Number 12, follow paths when exploring. They will often lead to important places, like the pig villages, and some things can only spawn next to paths, such as Chester's eye bone. Number 13, pigs are food, not friends. Kill them any chance you get. They drop pig meat and pig skin, both of which are extremely useful resources. Number 14, manure and guano is useless compared to rot. Rot works just as well on any plants that matter, berry bushes, and is much easier to acquire. Number 15, to acquire rot, pick a bunch of the two or three bulbed light flowers in the caves. Number 16, shift click to move items in and out of a container quickly. Number 17, during spring, watch out for frog rain. It's extremely dangerous, especially if you attack one. If you see frogs falling from the sky, sit nearby to a moose goose. It'll attack and aggro all the frogs and then be killed by them. Number 18, juicy berry bushes are much better than regular berry bushes because they take less time to harvest and rot faster, meaning they can be used as fertilizer sooner. Number 19, twiggy trees are much worse than saplings. They will considerably slow down early game development, which is the only time they are ever used. Number 20, try and turn off all mods except for geometric placement. They're all crutches and will make you a worse player. Number 21, eat seeds. Enough seeds spawn that they can keep your hunger up in every season but winter. Number 22, most things in the world only change if you are nearby, such as spider queens only spawn if you're nearby to a tier three spider nest. Number 23, when playing with multiple people, stay split up as often as possible. You can't gather resources if they've already been taken. Number 24, if you hammer a pig or merm head on a full moon, it will give nightmare fuel. And number 25, keep a fire pre-crafted. It could save you in a pinch. That's it for the 25 tips. If you liked the video, hit the like button or subscribe.